what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, fam? Right here in the building, right now. This guy right here. How can I say it? <laughs> He's one of my favorite people in the whole world. Nick Cannon, y'all. Man, What's up, homie? King, I'm, 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 I'm honored and uh, elated to sit down with you, brother. I mean, obviously, not only I've been a fan for so many years, but you inspired me in so many ways. But I love what you're doing for the community. Love how you speaking that truth, keeping it all the way 100, and uh, I support everything that you do. I appreciate you, man. Yeah. And that, that's a boomerang right there, man, yeah. because I've been watching you for, for, for a minute. And I'm, I'm going to tell you, I, I got a confession to make. When I first... <laughs> when I, when I first found out that Nick was trying to rap. I say trying to rap, man, that's, that was my mentality. Oh, he trying to rap. And it really was, it really was like a revelation, man, because I did not know you could spit like that. Yeah, man, you know what it is? I, and I, cause I came up, you know, I just came up producing and DJing in the 90s, and I always wanted, I wish I would've got on in that way, but I got right. on through comedy and Nickelodeon and all that stuff, right. so cats never really knew where I was at musically, but I and mean, coming from even where I come from, like I'm just a, a real dude, right. people think it's like they see the kid stuff. And so it was a little uphill battle, but it was something that was always in me. Like, you know, shoot, I've been a fan of the ghetto boys and all of, just from a kid, you know what I mean? Right. So I've been doing it since the 80s, but uh, it's one of them things where, you know, I don't, I don't have, it's one of those things, I don't have to put it out there so heavy, right. but that's even like with wilding out and stuff. I was like, yo, come on here, test me, see what happens, right. you know what I mean? And like, we play with it for the people, for entertainment wise, but this is, I, I live the culture and, and there's no way around it. Like, this is just right. me. Right. Now, how did you get in the, into, I mean, which which came first, chicken and egg, in terms of, <laughs> in terms of acting or, uh, yeah, music. yeah, acting actually opened the door. I mean, stand-up right. comedy, Nickelodeon, all that stuff when I was a teenager. And like, really, I was a kid that was hustling, you know, and when Nickelodeon came calling, I left all of that crazy stuff for long. I was like, yo, I square up real quick. Like, all, right. all the big homies and everything was like, yo, you got to get out there and, and do it the right way. You got an opportunity. Right. So I took the full advantage of that, man. Yeah. And I put my... I put my square hat on and just ran all the way and just and just you know been trying to be positive since then. But at the same time, you know, even having this revelation about you know the community and even as an artist, you got to be able to exude everything that you are and not be ashamed of anything. So you know, even though comedy acting opened the door for me, music has always been something that's been been my passion first. Right, right. So since I want to get into this real quick, man, because. You know, in our community, man, that's a huge misconception on the definition of real. Yeah. You know, so it's like, it's like to me, you're Speak a real. It's, to me, you're a real cat. You I know, like, it. and I know cats who everybody else think is real, <laughs> right. and they some of the fraud, the biggest frauds that you'll ever it's see. The whole facade of the fraud. <laughs> you know, they, they have no loyalty. Right. They, they don't stand on principles. Yeah. They backstab their friends. They right. all of a sudden they're very selfish. Yeah. And to me, you're none of that. You know, yeah. like I see you, 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 like the way you move. You get, you like, you get a hard on on helping people out. Yeah. Like you really, I, I see it. you putting people on a lot. Yeah. A lot of people don't do that. Nah, that's what it's all about, man. When you think community first and put your ego aside, because that's what you got to do. Cats really think real has to do with your ego. Right. You, you got to be selfless in this game. You know what I mean? If you're really about the community, if you're really about your people. Because, I, of course, I'm just like any other man. I got an ego, and I fed that on many different occasions. Right. But I think that's because I have so many outlets. I actually have the opportunity to be real with the community and put right. that as a number one priority. Because people think all these rappers are all these tough guys that y'all think is real. But like you said, it's all about loyalty, and it's all about being solid. If you're not a solid right. individual, if you ain't ten toes down, then you you flighty. You know what I mean? And right. a lot of cats think that you gotta be flighty to be in this. And then you see people turning their back on each other over money and all that stuff. And at the end of the day, all you got is your word and your community. Right. You know what I mean? And that's where we've been lost for so long too, because we don't have no. There's nothing grounded in our community. All these other ethnicities and cultures, they have solid roots in their community. And if we're not taught that, 
whether it's through fathers, whether it's through lineage, then it, it goes it goes away. And we don't know how to stick to it. We, we just ride on whoever is hot at the moment. Right. And that's how our industry has been built. Oh, this cat popping right now. Let me go get close to him. Right. Opposed to building your community and everybody building each other up to be hot. So that's kind of kind of my mentality when it's like trying to get people an opportunity. I don't want to hang out with the hottest rapper. I want to hang out with the cat that's trying to get it and give that person an opportunity so they can become the hot rapper. Right, right, that's how right. I think. Right, and I see that a lot, man. It's just, it's so obvious the way you move around, man. You know, you don't really move with the big entourage. Yeah, stuff. Nah. You got enough, you got just enough people to move people out of the way. <laughs> right, you know right. what I'm saying? And they regular dudes. They yeah. cats from my hood or like dudes that we just, they just happen to be like they had the same spirit as me. Like we about the community, we about the people, but we want to make sure everybody's safe at the same time right. too. And that's the thing, like, I, I I've been in this, you know, a long time, like, you know, a couple decades. So I went through the stages with the big bodyguards and got my Samoan partners with me and, you know, and all the chains and all. Yeah, yeah, but hey, you know, you don't really need that once you get to a point. It's almost like, it's almost like when you see Mark Zuckerberg, like, he ain't got no Jordans, he ain't got no million dollar shoes like I got. He got it. He got the, he ain't got to prove it. He walk around, he got no security, he riding around on his bicycle. That man is the richest man. <laughs> like out here, that they create yeah. Facebook. So I, I think like that. Like I don't have nothing to prove to people. People know what I got. They know how I'm moving. I'm, I want to. The thing I do want to prove to the people is that I'm of the people. Right. You know what I mean? And, right. and, and I, I want to shift that mentality and go back. Like we got to recondition our mindsets and our community. That yeah, it's all good to have all the whips and the cars and the chicks. But what you doing for your community? Right. How, how many community centers? How many trade days? How many? How many times do you really sit and build it for people? Because when we gone, that's the real equity that stays in our head. What the man is talking about. Damn. Order, Texas.